Austin Lane for Action Sports Jackson, ESPN 690, joined by Taven Bryant. Taven, man, going into your second year now, uh, your second year with training camp. Uh, how is it different from your first rookie year compared to now? Uh, you know, just the responsibility. You know, knowing what I'm supposed to do, big in, three technique. Uh, knowing the scheme, you know, not just knowing what I'm doing, what everybody else is doing and trying to, uh, you know, be able to play off that. They always say you gain the most progress from your first year going into your second year. What have you focused on this offseason to try to improve as, as a player? Uh, just knowing my responsibility. You know, knowing, like, I mean, with us big in, three technique, kind of different positions, really. And, uh, you know, I kind of switched them up last year. I was playing one the wrong way and then played the other one the other way. And so now I kind of got it focused in and, you know, know what I'm supposed to do in each one is very specific. Clayus Campbell's a guy who's been singing your praises uh, for a while now, you know, and, and it's a guy that I uh, – I'm sure you're honored to learn from. What, what has Class Campbell really taught you about the game of football, not only on the field but off the field as well? Just a bunch of little things, you know. I mean, uh, it's all down to little things, you know. Using my hands, making sure I'm, you know, keeping hands off me, uh, you know, formation recognition, you know, knowing where the ball's going before, you know, they even snap it. You know, just the little things just to get by. It just makes it so much easier and faster. So last year, obviously, it was no secret. You played out of position a little bit. You played a new spot they haven't been used to playing. Um, how is it going this year? I see you feel a little more comfortable. It seems like you adjusted well. I mean, do you enjoy playing that five technique, or would you rather just play the three technique the whole time? Uh, no, I enjoy playing both. You know, now that I kind of understand the difference, uh, I mean, it makes a whole world of difference. I mean, just knowing how I'm lined up, you know, the angle, the, the set, where my aiming point is and whatnot, just being able to play it. Uh, you know, playing it's actually pretty fun, you know, and uh, – you know, when you know what you're doing, it makes things easier and it kind of makes things go faster. So, I mean, you know, just little things. Absolutely. So when you got drafted, one of the biggest stories was that your dad was, in fact, a Navy SEAL. Uh, excluding yourself, if you could pick one guy to go through training camp or for, well, through, through SEAL camp and make it through, who would it be? Okay. Yeah, um, yeah a little, little curveball there. That'd be a hard one. Yeah. Because a lot of big guys don't end up being seals. They end up getting cut out just because they're too big and they can't. They can't. They're not very well rounded. It'd have to be like a running back or, man, uh, huh? It'd have to be a little guy like Fournette. I think Fournette kind of has the attitude. He would do well. Okay. See, uh, see, what I was thinking was like Quincy Williams because he's a good swimmer. Because like you have to be a good swimmer to be a seal, right? So I was thinking Quincy Williams. Break people in the water. Yeah. Uh, dang, that's that's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah, Josh Allen. You know, uh, he's 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 pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Josh, what's up, man? How you doing? What are we talking about? Seal training. Would you make it through, Josh Allen? All right, Josh Allen. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Josh. Good to see you, man. I got, I got a few more questions for you. So you mentioned Leonard Fournette. He's a guy who actually trained in Wyoming this offseason, uh, kind of went off the grid a little bit. Did he hit you up at all about some advice about what to do in Wyoming when he was there or not? Uh, no, I think he was just focused. He was in there training, doing his thing, making sure he's ready, and, uh, you know, just coming out to have a great season. Yeah, the nickname, the, the Wyoming Wild Man. What's the wildest thing that you've done – in the state of Wyoming. Uh, and be honest, please. I don't know if I can talk about that on the news. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. Uh, does this involve some kind of animal? Deer or fishing or anything? Or? Oh, yeah, I go okay. hunting, fishing. Okay. Mostly just chilling. I go home now, hang out with my fam. Okay, cool. I got a couple quick hitters for you. So you're a pretty big gamer. Uh, PlayStation, Xbox, or PC? PC. Okay. That's not even a question, you know. Okay. PC, PC, PC. PC. A Apex Legends or Fortnite? Apex. Who's your character in Apex? Uh, I usually play uh, Chappie. Or no, he's called Pathfinder. Okay. Pathfinder, gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, we got a couple more questions for you here. Flat ranked right now, you know. Only have a couple days off, you know. I'll be back. I'll be diamond probably at the end of the week. Are you the best gamer on the team? Uh, in Apex? Probably. Okay. I would say so. Okay. I'm pretty good at Apex. I play a lot of Apex. Okay, okay. And have you been playing during, the, like, during training camp too, or do you kind of re rest a little bit? Okay. Yeah. Fair enough, eh? We talked a little bit gaming, a little bit of uh, wilderness, a little bit of everything. So appreciate it, man. Yeah, Dave yeah. and Brian, thank you, man.